Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're here to help soon-to-be U.S. citizens who have their citizenship interview just around the corner. We're sharing insights based on real applicants' experiences. During the citizenship interview, the USCIS officer will evaluate your English skills, including reading, writing, and speaking randomly. They may ask you to engage in small talk or define words to ensure you meet the English requirement for U.S. citizenship. This video offers a comprehensive look at the interview format and what to anticipate. By the end of it, you'll feel more confident and well-prepared for the test. Keep practicing by watching this video and we're confident that you'll pass your actual interview. So, stay relaxed and confident as you prepare for your upcoming U.S. citizenship interview. Good morning. I came here for my U.S. citizenship test. Good morning. Can I have your appointment notice and state ID, please? All right. I need to take your picture and scan your fingerprints right here. Can you please move one step closer and look at the camera in front of you? All right. Now can you please place your left index finger on the scanner? Everything is perfect. Take your notice and your ID back with you and wait your turn. The officer should be here in a moment. Thank you. You are most welcome. Samantha Smith that's me. Hi. I'm Officer Alexander. I'm glad to conduct your citizenship interview today. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Nice to meet you too, Officer Alexander. How are you doing? I'm good, just a bit nervous before coming here. Don't be nervous. You will be fine. Please give me your USCIS appointment notice with you ID. Sure. Here you go. Thank you very much. Okay. So please remain standing. I'm going to swear you in. Please raise your right hand. And do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, it was very relaxing. Thank you for asking. What about yours? It was great. Thank you. Did you have any problem finding us? No, I didn't have problem finding you building. But I was afraid I was going to be late. Because the traffic was so busy. How far do you live from here? I live in Tyler. You came here with your spouse? Yes. My husband dropped me off. Your application says you were born in Mexico. Yes, that's right. Mexico is your country of nationality, right? Yes, that's right. 
What's your date of birth? It's July 6, 1991. Tell me why you are here today. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship interview. And why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want a better life for my daughter and for my son and I really want to vote in the next election. Do you have any other identifications? Here is my passport. Okay. Great. First we will start with civics test to test your knowledge of U.S. history and government. And then English reading and writing test after that we'll move on to part 12 and 400 application form. Sound great. Do you have any questions before we start? Yes, I made an error on my application and I would like to update. When we go through the application and we will update them. Thank you. We will start with the civics test then. In the civics portion, I will ask you up to 10 questions. However, if you answer six correctly, I will stop. Okay. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I've studied hard since I applied. Great. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 official civics questions 2008 version. That's the correct one. All right. Let's get started with the civics test. First question. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Name one state that borders Mexico. Arizona. Great job. Who is the commander-in-chief? The president. Very good. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Very good. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and join a political party. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Great. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Correct. Great job. You passed the civics test. Now we're going to move on to the reading and writing portions. You need to get one out of three sentences correct to pass. All right. For the reading portion, please read this sentence on the tablet for me. Who is on the dollar bill? Bill. That's right. Now I want you to write the sentence down on the tablet that I'm going to say out loud. Please write this sentence on the tablet for me. President Washington is on the dollar bill. Congratulations! You've passed the reading and writing portion. And you've passed the entire civics test and the English test. Thank you. So now we're going to move on to your application. Okay. What is your current legal name? Samantha Smith. Okay. Is that the same name on your green card? Yes, it is. Do you want to change your name in any way? No. I would like to use my current legal name on the certificate. Good. You've been a permanent resident for three years, is that right? 
Yes. So you're eligible for citizenship based on marriage to a citizen? Yes. How long have you been married? It is about to four years. And you're still married? Yes, I'm still married. And what is the name of your spouse? Jacob Wilson. And when did your spouse become a U.S. citizen? He was born here. Has your spouse ever served in the military or are they currently in the military? No. Okay. Do you have your spouse's passport or birth certificate? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. How many times have you been married? Once. Married? Okay. And what about your spouse? Once also. Okay. Did you bring any documents to prove your marriage is legitimate? Yes. I brought our tax returns for the last three years, joint bank statements, mortgage statement with both of our names on it, my health insurance copies, and some wedding photos. Okay. How did you meet your spouse? It was an arranged marriage by our family's choice. That sounds wonderful. And when was that exactly? That was on 11th of December, 2020. Okay. Did you have a wedding? Yes. We had our wedding in a church in El Paso, Texas. And who attended the wedding? Both of our parents and a few relatives. What does your spouse do? He is the branch manager at Chase Bank. Very cool. Does your spouse have to go into the office or does he work remotely? Some days he works remotely and some days he goes to office. All right. What is your spouse's birthday? May 1st, 1979. Okay. And do you have any children? Yes. We have a son and a daughter. What are their names? Brown Wilson and Olivia Wilson. Okay. And where were they born? They were both born in the United States. And where do they live now? They both live with myself and my husband. Did you bring their birth certificates with you? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Do you have any order of nobility in any foreign country? No, I don't. Good. Have you taken any trips outside of the United States since you moved here? Yes, two trips. Both to Mexico, is that right? No, officer. One was for Mexico and another one for Canada. How long did you stay in Mexico? About two weeks. Do you remember when that was? Yes, it was in November 2022. Do you remember the day you returned to the U.S.? Yes, I came back on the third week of November 2022. What was the purpose of your visit? I went to Mexico to visit my family and relatives as well. Sound great. Did you stay outside the United States for six months? 
No, I didn't. What about your trip Canada? Yes, we went to Canada this year. Okay. Can you tell me when you left the country, the exact date, and when you returned? Sure. We left February 1st and we came back February 8th. Okay. What was the purpose of that trip? Vacation and we met up with some friends from Canada. Okay. Thank you. Do you file your taxes jointly with your spouse? Yes, I always file my tax returns jointly with my husband. So how do you support yourself? I'm currently working. Who is your current employer? I'm self-employed. So you work for yourself? Yes, that's right. My family owns a store. Where is that located? It's located in Tyler, Texas City. All right. How long have you been managing the store? Since March 2022. What did you do before that? Before that, I was a homemaker. Do you always file your taxes since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I always do. Good. Do you have any order of nobility in any foreign country? No, I don't. Good. Can you confirm your current physical address? 8636 East Pierce Avenue, Tyler, Texas, 75703. Okay. How long have you been living there? Since I moved here in 2020. Okay. Is this also your mailing address? Yes. What is the best number to reach you? 713-955-7112 Okay. Thank you. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the U.S.? No, I've never done that because I'm not a citizen. Okay. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. All right. Let's go over some of your answers in this next section. Sounds good. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? No. They are not. Okay. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Were you a member of a paramilitary unit, a vigilante unit, or an insurgent organization? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, never. Good. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense in your country or in the U.S.? Never. Good. Do you obtain any public benefits in the U.S.? No, I don't. Okay. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. Do you know what persecute means? It means to hurt someone badly because of religion or political beliefs. Very good. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, never. 
Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I have a traffic ticket. How many traffic tickets do you have and what were the reasons for the citations? I have one traffic ticket that is in 2022 for talking on a cell phone while driving. And how much were that tickets and how did you resolve that? It was $100 which I paid right away. Okay. Great. That's not a problem. Any other arrests or detention? No, that's all I have. Good. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Good. We're almost done. Just a few more questions. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? It means that I promise to love my country in good times and in bad time. Excellent. So are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am willing to. Great. Will you perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces if the law requires it? Yes, I am willing to. Great. And how about performing work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I am willing to. Very good. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Very good. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I am willing to. I've updated some of the sections. I want you to review all of the information on the tablet to make sure it's accurate. Let me know if there are any mistakes. Okay. Yes, everything looks good. Okay. So please sign the box on the tablet to affirm that everything you've said during the interview and all of the evidence that you've submitted is complete and true. Okay. Thank you. One last thing. Please review the Oath of Allegiance section. Make sure you agree to all of the statements. Then you can print your name and sign and date on the tablet. Okay. Just give me one minute. I need to run a quick background check and copy all of your documents. I will be right back. Sure, not a problem. All right. Thank you for your patience. I've completed all of your copies. So here are all of your originals and I have your test results with you. Congratulations. You have passed the interview. Here's the copy of your test result. Thank you. Now we can administer the oath. Yes, that would be great. Please stand up, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce. And abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince. And abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince. Potentate, state, or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Potentate, state, or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies. 
that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law. When required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law. And that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. From now you are officially a U.S. citizen. Thank you, officer. I can give you back your paperwork, but I must keep you green card. Now I will print your naturalization certificate. It will take some time to print. So please wait for a while in the waiting area. Sure. After receiving your naturalization certificate, do not forget to check its accuracy before you sign in. And you must sign it with a black ink pen. Okay. Just couple of other things you need to do. You need to update your social security status and to register to vote. Definitely, I will do. You can also apply for your passport if you have any plan to travel outside of the U.S. Thank you. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I don't have any questions. Thanks again. Let me walk you out.